Hi everybody, it is still April 5, 2019. I'm going to be going through some uh, studies information that I have on, yep, the symptoms related to these electromagnetic frequencies, ultra low frequencies, Wi-Fi, microwaves, yeah, we are inundated with them and I want to ask those of you in South Carolina, how are you feeling? Are you noticing that you are not feeling right these days, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually? Be I don't know what it is with South Carolina, but I'm going to show you what has been going on. After I warn you about Bluetooth, do I have to warn you about Bluetooth? Well, I hope I don't have to warn any of my subscribers about Bluetooth, but yeah, 250 scientists signed petition to regulate trendy tech, the tiny wireless Bluetooth headphones, which fit into the ear canal. Wow. It's amazing that people do these things. Uh, very, very dangerous. All right, and this is in the Daily Mail, which I'm really surprised. Mainstream media. Oh, a little bit of fudging on, you know, the truth, but ah, for mainstream media, I was actually pretty surprised. All right, Apple's wireless AirPods communicate with one another using a magnetic induction field, a variable magnetic field one sends through your brain to communicate with the other. These are the air buds. Okay. Dr. Joel Moskowitz, University of California, Berkeley, community health professor uh, who has studied and focuses on cell phone exposures, says there isn't even research on what this could do to your brain yet, these air buds let alone regulations to limit the potential effects. He said, I can't imagine it's all that great for you. Yeah. So you have these things sitting in your ear and frequencies are pulsating into your brain. I, the cell phone is bad enough, but it, it's like putting a cell phone right smack in your ear. Wireless technologies are simply outpacing both research and regulation, and it could have disastrous effects for our health. Well, I'm going to show you that the research was done. It was done decades ago, even. They know how dangerous this is. Why don't we have regulation? Uh, why, why has the FCC never updated their uh, standards? They haven't updated their standards since 1996. Do you think the world has changed a bit since 1996? Well, you guys know. Uh, they are using these frequencies as a weapon. Give them the gadgets. They'll love it. They'll stick this right in their ear. All right, well, these devices are linked to cancer, which we all know. Uh, the levels of radiation found to be carcinogenic were significantly lower than the maximum allowed by federal and international guidelines. Hmm. All right, uh, when they have exposed animals to this form of radiation, reproductive, neurological, and genetic damage has become more common in those animals than would be expected in a normal sample of the same animals. Why couldn't they just say, animals exposed to this radiation, the Wi-Fi, the microwaves, all that, um, have uh, evidence neurological and genetic damage. 
Last year, further evidence that cellular transmissions may indeed cause certain kinds of cancer were published by the National Institutes of Health. Good. Glad to see it in mainstream media. Do you think it'll have an effect on people who use these devices? I don't think so. If one or two actually begin to question their use of these devices, ah, uh, well, uh, I, I'd even be surprised. The International Agency for Research on Cancer has declared electromagnetic field radiation as a possible carcinogen. Wi-Fi 2 has been shown to pose cancer risks. Research has revealed evidence that electromagnetic fields may be carcinogenic at even lower levels, and brain cancers are among the forms that research links to electromagnetic field radiation, frequency radiation devices such as cellular and cordless phones and their base stations, Wi-Fi, broadcast antennas, smart meters, and baby monitors, as well as electric devices and infrastructures used in the delivery of electricity that generate extremely low frequency electromagnetic field. All of these devices, dangerous. Very little research has been conducted on Bluetooth itself, but the proximity of air pods to the brain makes them particularly concerning. Since Bluetooth tends to be low intensity, it could open the blood-brain barrier, which evolved to keep large molecules out of the brain, explains Dr. Moskowitz. The concern there is probably more neurological disorders and diseases as opposed to cancer. Related research on cancer and electromagnetic fields has also revealed that cell phone radiation, which is not unlike that which comes from Bluetooth, may cause non-cancerous tumors to form along the nerve that connects the brain and the ear. Plus, the magnetic field the two air pods use to talk to each other must pass through the brain. From a precautionary standpoint, I would argue you shouldn't experiment with your brain like this by keeping these kinds of wireless headphones on your head or in your ears. You're conducting a health experiment on yourself, and current regulations are completely oblivious to these kinds of exposures. Got it? Okay. All right, this I took today. What is it with South Carolina? I have never seen such intense microwaves in any other state, but I've never seen them. For all my years looking at radar sites, never have I seen this kind of what is it? It looks like extremely low frequencies coupled with microwaves rippling through. I don't know. Plus, we have this extremely low frequency going from Georgia into upstate South Carolina, where I live. Have I been feeling good today? No. No. I don't get it. Now, I have posted videos showing you these microwaves that go from uh, west to east all along the South Carolina coast. I don't see this in any other state. So that's why I asked you guys, you South Carolinians, how are you doing? Because I, from what I hear from neighbors, no one feels good. One neighbor uh, just 
when I walked out my door, she said that she was unbelievably exhausted. Another neighbor sits, these people, they're, they're sitting in their Wi-Fi apartments. Well, she never feels well. Um, well, I don't, I, I don't need to go through what I hear. Because we all know it, right? We all know it. All right, well, let's uh, take a look. I'm just going to try to briefly go through um, some studies. But first, I want to show you this, visualizing the urban battlefield. What is this? This is exploitation of millimeter waves for through wall surveillance during military operations in urban terrain. Urban warfare. That's why we see our military that are training in urban areas like the recent Raleigh, North Carolina military training. <laughs> uh, you have to wonder if they're using or testing out their millimeter waves to see right through the walls. Okay, just want to read this. I'll link below to everything. Yes, the global trend to urbanization because they're, they're moving the, uh, the herd around, people around, using weather as a weapon. They effectively move people out of areas. We've been flooded too much, honey. Let's just move into the city. These fires in California. We better move. Um, the mega regions, which I have shown in videos, go to America 2050, that site. You can put it in a, in a search bar of any search engine and you will see the reshaping map uh, reshaping the United States into these mega regions and well those are like the city urban environments and we have these 5G you know the 5G rollout our military and other militaries are training this this is uh, Canada's military, Canadian soldiers. Okay, so uh, they train in urban areas. And this is not to fight overseas so they, you know, fight us over there so they don't have to fight us over here or whatever. This is also for uh, use against us. So uh, the global trend to urbanization is a key factor in the consideration of a future military suite of surveillance sensors, specifically the rapid growth of urban areas in the developing world leads to the preconditions for conflict. And it is quite likely that Canadian soldiers will have to operate in this type of environment. The conduct of military operations in urban terrain has often been considered extremely difficult both from the standpoint of mobility and of locating the enemy De don't 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 worry soldiers the millimeter wave 5g is here millimeter wave length technology which is applicable in both passive and active modes can see through standard construction materials Well, many of us have posted videos. This 5G is not being rolled out. So you get to have faster speed and download your, your movies or whatever faster. It's not for your pleasure. This is an infrastructure. It is a surveillance grid. It's a prison grid. So not only can 5G see through walls, it can see through your clothing, your uh, briefcase, your pocketbook, anything that you have, uh, your purchases at a store, you know, walking with a shopping bag or a box. 
but they can also direct those antennas and kill you. Or they can create a fence, invisible, but try to pass it and you will get burned. They use 5G, the millimeter wave. The military has been using it for quite a while and they use it as a perimeter fence, crowd control. They can lock people in neighborhoods with this. They can keep you out of certain areas with it. And they can see inside your home. And that's why so many people have been uh, actively trying to get this stopped. This is what's happening. So undoubtedly, this see-through capability will prove to be a great aid to tactical decision-making at the most junior levels of command and even in individual engagements. In addition, active millimeter wave radar systems. Yeah, that radar that you see on these sites. See all the, the blue and the the gray, the scattering, that's our Doppler radar. And Doppler radar, next rad, uh, it is operating in the millimeter range of frequency. Yeah. Look how weird this looks. Suddenly precipitation, uh, bands of it straight bands just pop out of nowhere. This <laughs> clearly this is not mother nature producing this. So um, yeah, we're this is not good. It's not good. And it's causing an awful lot of emotional upset, um, confusion and uh, loss of concentration, depression, anger, agitation, irritability, but physically, boy, oof, exhaustion, physical pain, autoimmune disorders. Yeah. Well, we are just now inundated. So for those who think, oh, Doppler radar, it's just searching trains, uh, planes, 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 planes. Well, it could be searching trains too. But if that's the case, then why do we see different states with their Doppler radar on, but other states you don't see much happening at all? All right, so yeah, radar systems can also be employed where there is no consequence to their detection and perhaps where their known presence contributes to deterrence. deterrence. Okay, um, yeah, here it is, military document. Canadian military, millimeter wavelength can see through the walls right into your home. All right. It's not just you. Everybody is exhausted. And no, it's not getting better. February 26, 2018. Everybody's exhausted. Why? Well, let's see. Uh, REM, rapid eye movement, REM suppressive effect with reduction of duration and percentage of REM sleep was found. Found with what? Pulsed high frequency electromagnetic fields. Everything's pulsing. Your smart meter pulses, your cell phone pulses, your Bluetooth pulses, um, your computers pulsing, cell phone towers pulsing, Gwen towers pulsing, radar pulsing. The pulsating frequencies are much more dangerous 
than steady frequencies, constant steady frequencies. Everything's pulsing. So you have that cell phone tower, uh, cell phone right up to your head. It's pulsating these frequencies into your brain. It's it is depleting your melatonin. And even if you can fall asleep, you're not getting you're not getting the quality of sleep because it's affecting the most important period, your REM stage of sleep. That's where your body goes into deep healing. You know, you're in that deep sleep, and that's when your body really heals. And when you have that REM operating as it used to operate, operating well, you wake up feeling well rested. Who wakes up feeling well rested today? I don't know anybody who does. So even if you're not using a cell phone, um, an iPhone, a smartphone, whatever, you just use that flip top and you hold it away and you're on speakerphone and you know you don't have Wi-Fi and you use your uh, Ethernet cable to access the internet and uh, well, you can't get away from Wi-Fi from neighbors and smart meters and in these apartment complexes. Uh, you still have all of the cell phone towers. Uh, some areas have a higher concentration of these cell towers and antennas than other places. All of it's pulsating. You can't get away from it. It's still depleting melatonin. So uh, the relevance of that REM sleep, you know, <laughs> what it... it to have just adequate information processing in the brain, you need REM. Without it, you don't have very good processing of the brain. And the more you don't get that stage of sleep, the more your brain begins to, well, decline. The functions, they decline. Um, memory functions and learning processes. The results emphasize the necessity to carry out further investigations on the interaction of this type of electromagnetic fields and the human organism. Dangerous, but where we can't get anywhere. Uh, and again, FCC still has not changed those standards still using 1996 standards perception and behavioral effects of electromagnetic fields Gwen sites extremely low frequencies emitted through the ground or into the atmosphere all of those lines you know the uh, well you just saw it go whoa boom there extremely low frequency right here starting in Georgia emitted in Georgia right through upstate South Carolina into North Carolina the range 300 miles okay um, stimulation of nervous structures structures by electro electric and magnetic fields and associated currents in the body above a threshold that is frequency dependent these currents are perceived as painful stimulus that increases with current intensity are you in pain uh, small changes in EEG patterns shocks and burns when the human body is in this uh, electromagnetic field of suitable frequency and intensity and it makes contact with a conducting body in the same field an electrical current is produced that can cause perceptible electrical shock, muscular contractions, burns, possible death, heating. If enough radio frequency power is absorbed in human tissue, especially skin, it can raise the temp tissue temperature and cause a sensation of warming that will be due to thermal stimulation of temperature receptors. 
thermal perception of absorbed radio frequency energy is frequency dependent. The threshold, threshold energy decreases as the frequency increases. Auditory perception, humans and animals hear clicks of the sounds. This perception could well result when thermal, listen to this, okay? Many of you have what we refer to as tinnitus. And many uh, perceive these frequencies differently. Some hear a hissing. I describe mine as a, a loud buzzing. Uh, some people describe it as a knocking or a clicking sound. All right, what is that about? Why are we hearing this? Well, it could result when thermal absorption leads to thermoelastic expansion of tissues and fluids in the head and is sensed by auditory receptors. Does that sound like that's good? I hope you're saying no. So yes, sensations were perceived as buzzing, ticking, hissing, or knocking sounds. Behavioral changes, um, fatigue, difficulty in concentrating, increased frequency of headaches. Studies in Eastern Europe, uh, they found populations um, that a range of symptoms, irritability, lethargy, insomnia, impotence, headaches, loss of memory, inability to concentrate, and the syndrome has been identified as microwave sickness. All right. Yes, disturbance of the immune system by electromagnetic fields. So I hear today from a friend in South Carolina who tells me that her friend has a 26-year-old daughter who has been coming to use their um, sauna. She has an autoimmune disorder and is racked with physical pain all the time. Okay, um, this is a Navy document. They funded a study, the biological effects of uh, electromagnetic frequencies, microwaves, and that study produced 2,000 references on the biological responses. And yeah, Naval Medical Research Institute. Well, this they've known that these microwaves have a tremendous uh, the, the, the biological responses when look I'm sorry anybody who listens to mainstream media when they say well uh, there are a few studies and most of the studies prove that Wi-Fi is not harmful these microwaves are not harmful they're lying through their teeth reported biological phenomena and clinical manifestations attributed to microwave. Okay, well, heating of organs, bone and bone marrow um, uh, disorders, effects. The lenses of the eyes are very affected. Corneal damage, sinus problems, m metal implants. Well, anybody who has metal inside them, even mercury in your mouth, have you ever suddenly felt, oh, extreme pain like you're um, biting on tinfoil? You got hit with a frequency. Altered sensitivity to drug stimuli. Yes, people taking medications. These frequencies can alter the effects of the medications that you are taking. Um, altered sex ratio of births more girls, decreased fertility to sterility, altered menstrual activity, uh, decreased lactation in nursing mothers, 
changes in conditioned reflexes, decreased electrical resistance of skin, altered blood flow rate, alterations in the biocurrents of the cerebral cortex. I could go on and on and on, but you can click on the link below and read all about it. Headaches, insomnia, restlessness, dehydration, uh, generalized degeneration of all body tissue at fatal levels of radiation, cranial nerve disorders, seizures, convulsions, alteration of heart rhythm, fatigue, um, structural alterations in the synapses of the vagus nerve, uh, psychological disorders, depression, uh, anxiety, hypochondria, dizziness, hallucinations, sleeplessness, increased irritability, decreased appetite, loss of memory, scalp sensations, increased um, fatigability, uh, fa yeah, well, chest pain, tremors of the hands, blood disorders, and it goes on and on and on and on. On and on. These are one one document produced all of these symptoms. Okay? Loss of hair. A lot of you are losing your hair. Brittleness of hair. Sensations of buzzing vibrations, pulsating, uh, ticking, tickling about the head and ears. Copious perspiration, salvation, protrusion of tongue. Changes in the operation of implanted cardiac pacemakers. Changes in circadian rhythms. You're off balance. You're no longer in balance with the natural frequencies coming from Earth. Sparking between dental fillings. A peculiar metallic taste in mouth. Okay. So I'm going to link below to these documents that happen to have a tremendous amount of studies in one document. So if anybody says, well, I heard there weren't very many studies, and the studies that are out there, most of the studies have come back and they said, no problem, all of this is uh, safe and you're just a crazy person. Print out these documents. Hand it to them. All of these are studies that have shown adverse effects, biological effects of these frequencies that we are saturated in. Saturated in. Okay? There, there are so many studies out there. A thousands of studies that have proven biological effects. We have manifested an incredibly dangerous environment and we can't escape it. Now there are areas where you can go where there are less towers, less of these frequencies, but we will all be moved one way or the other, uh, whether it's uh, being hit with floods or fires or impoverishment of certain areas, the economy. They do this deliberately. Suddenly there are no jobs in one particular area and the only place that you can find work is in a mega region because that's where major corporations are providing work for people. Okay? So, lots, 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 lots of studies right here. Um, lots of studies, Dr. Neil Cherry. The evidence is overwhelming, causes cancer, excessive exposure to magnetic fields, uh, cancer, neurodegenerative diseases, uh, increases risk of cancer, male infertility, neurobehavioral abnormalities. Here, a whole list of more studies. Uh, and here, nice little chart for you. Behavioral problems, cognitive problems, 
all studies, studies, cognitive functions. Um, it's another PDF, 168 pages. Studies, studies, studies. And yes, biological health effects of microwave frequency transmissions. A review, a review of the research literature 2013. More studies in this document. Okay, all cited scientific studies. Very dangerous. All of it, very dangerous. And then we have this. Okay, it's not just our gadgets. Not just the smart meters, not just the cell towers, but we have very dangerous frequencies coming out of Doppler radar, uh, Gwen towers that line our interstates, ground wave emergency network emitting very dangerous, extremely low frequencies. And what is this? Don't know. But again, please, South Carolinians, please weigh in here. How are you feeling? Thanks for listening, everybody. And everything is linked to below.